Hello, friends. I am Fiona Sitkin, the host of a talk show, The Bridge for Women Worldwide. On our bridge, men and women alike have equal standing. So welcome and stay with us. My video blog today is again about Ukraine. This makes the headlines for an obvious reason, because Putin's Russia occupation could lead to a global geopolitical disturbance. All over the world, millions of Ukrainians, as well as people with Ukrainian roots like myself, wake up to deep to watch the updates on the war, follow it throughout the day, then check on the latest news at night. And deeply disturbed by destructions, we find it hard to fall asleep. And how can one sleep when our motherland is being leveled to rubble, its civilians executed and women raped? Of course, we speak up, we donate, we volunteer, we give interviews to all kinds of media and still see that it is hard to stop the aggression. What's going on? What's in the future? Let's recall the history for some insights. The Soviet Union lost 22 million people in the course of the Second World War. At the same time, during Soviet regime, Joseph Stalin and KGB killed more people than Adolf Hitler, both in his own country and in occupied territories. However, Putin made it a crime in Russia to mention this fact of history or to compare the atrocities committed by the Russian troops in Ukraine with those of Nazi Germany. Why? Because Putin wants to whitewash and stage a comeback of the Soviet empire. May 9, known as Victory Day in the former Soviet Union, marks the day when Nazi Germany surrendered to the Soviet forces. Therefore, May 9, 2022, might present Putin the occasion to declare the symbolic victory over Ukraine. President Putin dreams of being equated to Stalin, making a bombastic public display to suggest he is winning the war in Ukraine. Only he won't, he will not. Why? For three reasons. Reason why? Because for more than two months, the war is going far from original planning. Reason two, because President Putin is an ultranationalist who wants to change the internationally recognized borders, but the international community would never agree to that. Reason three, because the Ukraine war is just a caprice, a whim of a maniac and poorly informed dictator. Conquering Ukraine became deeply personal to Putin. He wants to stop Ukraine's Western ambitions, and he wanted it in 2014, and when it failed, he turned to more muscular methods to restore Russian or Soviet empire to the pre-Gorbachev times. How crazy is that? What does it mean for us today? Here's my ABC of the future. A, if Western analysts are correct, that Putin has demanded victory by victory day, the Russian generals need to achieve something, anything, after their disgraceful defeats in the beginning of the war. B, Putin's plan is to grab the entire Black Sea shore, that is most of Ukraine, for starters. And C, they threaten they will use the nuclear weapons. Western diplomats believe it's unthinkable, as decent people don't do that. But I tell you, these are not decent people. I lived among them under the Soviet regime, and I know enough to tell you they won't stop to use the nukes just to be the top dogs. So let's be better prepared. For sure, the Ukrainians are now receiving good weaponry and morale is high, and there are high chances to believe that the Ukrainians will prevail. They also want to make a push for the 9th of May and make it the Ukrainian Victory Day, the Ukrainian Victory Day. The good news is that Ukraine's subjugation is now forever beyond Russia's grasp. 
Russia is not simply the war against Ukraine, but against the rule-based international order. They are doomed, the losers. The bad news is that Russia doesn't yet comprehend this and will continue to send its own men to their deaths, nothing doing. But listen, even if May 9 remains a show of strength, as it always is, in Russia, it will be hollow, hopeless, while in a newly united Ukraine, it will be real, tangible. So my message is, it is possible that May 9 may become a Ukrainian victory day. Let's hope for it. Let's drink to it. Let's fight for it. Thank you all for listening. Please don't forget to subscribe to our Brit channel and click on the little bell next to the subscribe button to receive notifications for the next episodes. Stay well, my friends. I salute you. Bye-bye now.